know what? As you guys can see in the video, I actually got Budokai 3 after so long. I guess the real cool part is that I was able to get Budokai 2 and Budokai 1. So I have the whole complete set. Now, let's talk about freaking Budokai 3 since it's actually my first time playing it. So, Budokai 3. It has an intro that is very, very awesome. That's an awesome intro, I gotta admit. It's pretty damn awesome. Now, then we get into story mode, which is Dragon Universe. I saw story mode before, but story mode is pretty damn awesome. I mean, holy freak. And I didn't actually get to the other ones because, well, chances are I think I have to go with freaking Goku until I finally beat all of it. And I get to the other characters. So basically, it's a step up for what happened with Budokai 2, but a step back. Step up. You're able to have every single character in full form, you know, with body, head, and everything, you know, 3D. The step back is that you don't have other characters you could actually move them to. So it's not a actual board game anymore, which that was Budokai 2, it's, I guess, kind of a board game. And you have the main character, which is, Bu which is Goku, but you also have two or one more character, and they look just like a regular generic piece in a board game. So, it's pretty awesome that they actually have that, and it's pretty awesome that you're able to search everywhere, and you can fly around, so it's like, wow, first time ever, able to fly all around Dragon Ball Z world. Pretty damn awesome. Then we get to dueling. Dueling is the same thing, and um, dueling's okay and everything, but of course the mechanics, like mechanics, like what the frick. So you have something called hyper mode. Now, hyper mode I didn't really like, I, I mean, when I first actually went against this, and I actually played this right around when it was popular, when I was with a kid in Miami, because, well, my dad was taking too long, so that's why I was in the kid's house playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. I think I played Goku, and I played as someone else. So, yeah. As for the freaking Rage crap, which I didn't see the Rage before, I think we just were fighting. It, look at the freaking rage. I'm just gonna call it rage because I forgot what it's called and frick that freaking move anyways. One thing about Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, I didn't like the whole thing of where I have to choose a freaking damn button and they just made it even worse. It's like, yeah, you made it freaking damn worse where it's like, I was okay with just choosing one button now be the end of it. But now you stretch it as a part of, now I have to choose three damn buttons. And I'm like, frick you, man. Freak you with your damn three buttons, man. Freak you. What the frick? My gosh, what the frick? So that's one thing I hate was that, and the fact of, oh, I have to be careful because if I'm not careful, they're able to knock me the f out, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the megaton fuck? And not to mention the freaking itchy trigger, and this is where it comes to the whole having it on PlayStation 2, not on GameCube. GameCube, I actually know what I'm doing. PlayStation 2, it took me at least, what, three to five times to finally understand. Actually, it took me training mode to understand how to freaking, uh, you know, collect Kai. Yeah, increase your Kai. I actually had to freaking look in the manual and also had to look in the freaking training to understand what the fuck I was supposed to do there because I didn't know. Yeah, completely different from the GameCube version, and that's why most likely I'm having a bad time. But I still have to say the hyper thing is bullshit, and I, I didn't even want to use it. I was saying, I want to go to Kaioken. I want Super Saiyan. And it was like, yo, you want full boost mode? Oh, yeah, now you're in freaking damn rage mode now, man. You better use it now. I'm like, I just wanted to become Super Saiyan, dumbass. I just wanted to use Kaioken, dumbass. And because of that, I got a little bit screwed over. That's complete bullshit. And apparently, if you use hyper mode, it's like when I use hyper mode, I get beaten the shit out of me somehow. If the computer use hyper mode, oh, and I try to use Kamehameha or try to freaking hit him, oh no, he's supreme and he's able to freaking just screw me over. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Not to mention, let's listen to the. I mean, intro stuff, you know, the stuff where it's like, oh, I'm Goku, hello! It's like, yeah, 
I did get freaking damn annoyed with Boma and Budokai too. But they take it even to a whole nut level. And it's like, that's messed up. It's like, I want to play the game, but I don't want to hear your damn voice over and over and over again. Freaking damn, man. Freaking damn. So, as for having it on, having Budokai 3 on, on GameCube. Now, the hype, first I'm going to talk about the hype. The hype of what, looking at it, because I remember when I was looking on it, and the whole thing of, oh, Boma's playable, and then it turns out maybe it's a lie, and you're able to play as the grade 8 form, and it's like, oh, that's freaking damn awesome. I would like to play as the grade 8, but I mean, freaking damn, that would be freaking damn awesome, right? And only Goku can do it. No freaking damn, no Vegeta, no anyone else, just Kid Goku. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I know Tenkaichi has it, but that's another video. That's another video. I have to talk about that. So, when it comes straight down to it, having it on GameCube, I might actually hate the game. It's like, I don't know. I might love it. I might hate it. I think the real reason why I might hate it is because, well, it's PlayStation 2. The freaking controls suck like hell. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying I played on GameCube. This is PlayStation, different controller. That's why I'm most likely hating on this game a little bit. But if it was on GameCube, I think I might like it, then I might hate it. Because of the freaking damn, oh look, Hyper Mode, yeah! And hopefully the good news is that maybe it was on GameCube, when I accidentally touch Hyper Mode, it might actually be instead of me not and mistakenly touching it, I could easily just turn Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan 2. I could actually do that without this bullshit, but you had to screw me the freak over, like, what the fuck? You screwed me the hell over. My freaking gosh. So I'm gonna keep the game. It's like, I'm gonna keep the game. I'm gonna play it. Like, I'm gonna play it and enjoy it. As for Budokai 1 and 2, I most likely will keep those two for PlayStation 2. I'm most likely not going to ever play it because I already have the games. I already played them. I didn't get Tiencha yet or Kabito Shin yet. Yeah, I know. That's like, oh, freak. That's going to take long as hell to do. But my gosh, I mean, I would love to actually play with the Fusion. I don't get to do that. But the thing I will be interested in playing in Budokai will be the fact of being able to actually play with Vegito. Like, yeah, or Vegeta. Yeah, and also play with Super Saiyan 4 Goku and, you know, all that crap. Like, yeah, I kind of actually will play that. And I don't think we actually get to have GT in this, right? I'm pretty sure there's no GT. But it's cool that this is actually the freaking video game that finally puts all the other characters that should be in the freaking game. So Cooler's in it. Ollie's in it, and a few others are in it too that are just movie exclusives. I really hope that they'll continue that, especially with Dragon Ball Z Fighter. Because Dragon Ball Z Fighter, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Actually, Dragon Ball Fighters, sorry. Fighter Z, sorry. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure I would like, if we're going to have Khalifa and also Kale, which more than anything is Kale. We need Kale and Brawly to go against each other. I mean, that's a no-brainer. If we're never going to get that in the whole entire freaking series, then allow us to have it in the video game. I mean, what the freaking hell? What the hell? So Brawly's not canon, but Kale is? You bastards. So anyways, Budokai 3 is exactly what I kind of want. I mean, it adds a little bit more, but it's that part of it is that there is a freaking thing that's totally a downfall. Because of that, I'm like, yeah, um, frick this game. Because it was like, yeah, trying to defeat Vegeta, trying to defeat freaking damn Frieza. And you know what knocked me out every single time? That freaking burst piece of shit mode. That freaking piece of shit. If we're gonna be able to, it's like, as if Hey, we're playing Pokemon. It's like, yes, I got you knocked down. One freaking HP left. Oh, it's time to use full restore. You piece of shit. It's like, let's fight as freaking men and don't use the damn freaking full power. 
So I don't use the full power yet. I don't have the hang of it. Why don't we just fight and beat the shit out of each other? But I will say one note in this on is the fact of being able to use a Kamehameha against someone else using a blast. And we have this moment of where we have to actually do this. And we actually have to make sure we put all our might in it and make sure we win. That's awesome. Another thing is the fact that you're able to dodge and kick and all that. That's okay. I mean, I'm fine with that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If I master it, that's going to be very, very fun to use. But again, hyper, hyper crap. That's the real thing that really pisses me off. It really does. And I can understand that that's how you do your super attacks. I get it. And also the damn button mashing to actually get enough energy to do an attack. What the fuck is that? Because I can't do it because you guys change shit and I don't really understand which button I'm supposed to freaking damn press. That's why when it comes to the freaking training, I'm shocked at the end of it. It's like, oh, I did Ghost Kamikaze attack. But then you just say, oh, you did it even though you failed. So freak you. You did a good job anyways. Moving on. No. No, dumbass. That should have been more than, that should have been more than just, oh, you can do it. That should have been more to far of that it should have been like first you did it now do it and actually get it done or do it successfully it's like that's i would be fine doing that thing instead of now i have to actually go somewhere and do it I go somewhere in training or whatever and actually do it not training but sparring that's kind of bullcrap anyways other than that it's pretty okay as for being on gamecube it would be less of a hassle I think I might have still issues of that stupid hyper mode. Hard talk. Thank you for your patience. The final round starts now. Hard talk versus. And no. 